And that one is 108.4303. Maybe I can remember all those. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna go over some Toro bed knives and what happens to behind center distance if we change from various bed knives. So I got three different Toro bed knives. Um, this one on top here is, Toro calls it a short bed knife. It's a hardened bed knife made out of tool steel and it's the micro cut. Then the other one I got is just a, a standard bed knife. This is the one that I run on all my greens mowers. It's uh, 934362. And then we got an extended bed knife. It's a 108403. Each one of these bed knives is about a hundred thousandths difference. So our behind center distance should show that on each one of these that it's about a hundred thousandths difference. Uh, the other part to change behind center distance is the rear roller spacer. So if you add one spacer, that also changes your behind center distance about a hundred thousandths. And all of this is with the cutting unit setting at an eighth of an inch. So 125. So what we'll do is we'll get on the different bed knives, we're gonna keep them on the red bed bar, which is the standard bed bar. The black bed bar, if you have a black bed bar, is more aggressive. And it adds about 100 thousandths um, on the black bed bar. But we're gonna put them all on the red bed bar and use the BC Master and see what our behind center angle is. One thing to note on these bed knives is the blank is the same. The only difference between the bed knives, well, one is tool steel and the other is whatever steel that Toro uses, but the blanks are the same. So if you line these up, you know, front to back, you'll notice the holes are aligned different. So they're using the same blank and just drilling the holes in different spots. I'm sure that's to cheapen up the manufacturing process. So I got my high to cut set to 125. We have zero spacers on our rear roller inserted. There's some on top, but when you put the spacer below the aluminum flange, you're moving the rear roller down. So then you would have to move the front roller up. So that's what changes your behind center distance. And we'll do this on all our cutting units. On all the other bed knives, we'll make sure it's at uh, eighth of an inch, 125. So this is a standard bed knife. Uh, nine, helps when it's not upside down and you try to read a number. It's a 60, no, it's a 93, 42, 62, yeah. Probably the most common bed knife for mowing greens. It's the standard standard and we have the red standard bed bar. BC master angle gauge. So I'm gonna zero the angle gauge and I like zeroing in this orientation with the magnets here so I can put, use the magnets on the BC master. I put it on the reel shaft, I'm holding it here. We're at 3.9 degrees. So right at four degrees, I seen a four when I first put it up there. So standard bed knife, standard bed bar, no roller spacers, how to cut 125. Next, we're gonna go to the short bed knife and see what it measures. So one thing I want to note is 
when you put on a new bed knife, you should grind that bed knife because when you put it on the bed bar, it's gonna change. So the difference between each one of these bed knives should be in that two and a half degree range. We're gonna find out for sure. If we ground the bed knife, that might increase by a tenth. So maybe we would be 2.6 or 2.7. I just wanted to make sure everybody was clear on grinding the new bed knife. Let's get these swapped out. All right, we just swapped in the short bed knife. One place that I think you might wanna use a short bed knife is on a fixed head T mower, if you're mowing T's. Um, so a fixed head mower and you're mowing at a half inch or something like that, because on it, there's no way to change behind center distance other than the bed knife. And I don't know that for sure, but I kind of think that's why Toro come up with the short bed knife. Um, I don't think people are gonna use it on greens, but let's see, see what it measures, short bed knife. Again, same thing, we're gonna turn our gauge on, we're gonna zero it here on the zero point bar. Stick it on there, so. 5.4, so that's one and a half degrees. If we would have ground this bed knife, we'd have probably took off, you know, 10 thousandths off the front, maybe it would have went to 5.5, but roughly one and a half degrees difference between the short and the standard on a standard bed bar and no roller spacers. Same how to cut, 125. Another thing to note on this, we put in the short bed knife, we checked the how to cut, it was still right at 125. Um, I know for a fact, because I've done it, put on the extended bed knife, it changes how to cut about 10 thousandths. Um, but that's the one we're gonna put on next is the extended, and I'll let you know how much it changes the how to cut. We got our extended bed knife on here, and I was running an extended bed knife on uh, my greens cutting units, but I had a black bed bar. And at our other course, the guy down there, he was running an extended on a red bed bar, and that actually puts the behind center distance in front of center, which we'll see here in a minute. Um, and I don't think that is the best way uh, or the best setup, Spe you know, for we're mowing Bermuda grass and, you know, it gets thick and puffy and all those things. I don't think that's a good setup for Bermuda grass. So I would have never known that if it wasn't for the BC master that we were actually in front of center. So I'm gonna zero my gauge again. So it is 1.2, so it's, and that's kind of the confusing part here is it's actually the other way. Um, and if we look down the center line of the reel, we can tell that the BC master is pointed that way. So that is something to think about. Normally, this thing is pointed towards the bed knife, but in this case, it's pointed forward. So we're, I mean, close to 60 thousandths in front of center. Now, if we ground this bed knife, um, you know, and took off 30 thousandths or something, we'd be back close. The reason I don't like running an extended bed knife on a standard bed bar and having our behind center distance in front of center is I believe it lays over a lot of grass, and especially with Bermuda being thick and puffy and we're just pushing it over instead of actually cutting it. So that's not good. And then what happens if you do that for a long period of time and then you put on a standard bed knife or a short bed knife, then you're gonna be a lot more prone to scalping. Uh, the scenario we had is we switched at the other course from Toro 
units to John Deere units, and the John Deere units were a lot more aggressive. And I used the BC Master to dial us back in and actually get it back in front of center because this was later on in the year, like end of July, first of August. And that's not a time on Bermuda to try to bring it down. Something we thought about while we were doing this is the standard bed knife that I had in here had already been ground. So we're gonna throw on a brand new standard bed knife and measure it and see what that angle is. So now we got on our brand new standard bed knife that's not been ground. So this will be a better comparison than uh, the one that wouldn't ground. Zero in my gauge. 3.4. So yeah, 3.4 degrees. So that's five tenths of a degree. So how much is that? Like 20 thousandths, something like that. If each degree is 40, that should be about 20 thousandths. We've ground off the front face of the standard bed knife that we first started out with. So when our, we had the extended bed knife on, you know, we were at a more of an angle like this, then the standard bed knife is the angle like this, and then a short bed knife is a steeper angle like this because this behind center distance is moving more. So that's one of the great things about the BC Master is, is a, it allows us to put a number on our behind center distance. And if our greens are perfect, maybe we use this and see what that number is. And then in a month, when we start seeing some scalping, maybe we can go to an extended. Maybe we can put in a spacer and go to an extended bed knife and see where that gets us. Just for instance, when I was running the black bed bar and an extended knife, my behind center was somewhere around two degrees, where our standard bed knife that we had in here and a red bed bar, we were four degrees. So being able to play with those numbers just gives us more options to mow our turf. So that kind of wraps up the difference between these three bed knives. Until next time, see you bye.